It's time to check out the California Academy of Sciences. This is Claude, an alligator with albinism, which means that he cannot produce melanin to have color in his eyes, which is why it's red. You can just see right through to the blood vessels and his skin is white. He's 27 years old. Now we're checking out the rainforest exhibit. The mighty rainforest. Okay, we're checking out the mighty rainforest exhibit. Look at how big his belly is. There's an interesting species down there in a tube called humans. We're gonna go down there later. So the way these poison frogs get their toxin is from what they eat, the ants, and they just store the chemicals. Oh, <laughs> it's up there. That's one of the greenest geckos I've ever seen. Let's go. I just hope that blue butterfly doesn't fly. Or else I'll kill them. I'll just, yeah. These are called four-eyed fish. For the water, you see it under, or you see it from the bottom. Flying. Whee! Oh my. I want to be a seahorse now. Here's Claude the alligator. We saw him from up there. Now we see him from down here. Now we're going in the fog room. Oh no. Carl's coming to us. Carl the fog. We're going to experience an earthquake. Let's go back in time. October 17, 1989. Okay. At 5.04 p.m., live coverage had begun when the earthquake struck. The shaking lasted 15 seconds. Let's imagine San Francisco more than 100 years ago. April 18, 1906, 5.12 a.m. The city begins to work. Wow. I never knew how severe the 1906 quake was that 28,000 buildings burned. The goal of this game is to do a dance that the birds would do in real life. I'm trying to predict the moves, but I'm not doing too. Oh, oops. Congratulations, you're an animal. And that is the California Academy of Sciences. My favorite part was the aquarium because there are a lot of different sea creatures everywhere. I liked the fog and the earthquake, the ones that you got to like actually experience things that happen to daily San Francisco people. And I thought that the underwater portion was pretty cool as well. And the seahorses, the seahorses are now one of my favorite animals.